Hey guys, what's going on? It's, uh, it's Marco here. Um, figured I'd give you guys a little tour of my two toolboxes. I just finished my, uh, my third year for a 310T apprenticeship and uh, be able to write my license soon. And uh, yeah, so we'll just do a, a little review here for you guys. I'm not gonna go in depth too much, but we'll do a bit of a, bit of a review here. Um, so it's just a, I bought this toolbox used for two grand. Um, off some guy, Facebook Marketplace. And yes, it is beat up, and yes, I know there's no proper top, but I didn't come with one, so I was like, I don't know, there's no, I didn't really feel like spending, you know, 1,500 bucks to buy another one, so I was like, they'll just use old mud flap. But anyway, start with this top drawer. Um, this, is my, this is my wrench drawer. I have a little bit of space here, but I wanna get, I gotta get some more wrench. I don't know what yet, but something. Anyway, this is just, you know, ratcheting wrenches and um, just stubbies. I had to custom make this. I can't remember what I did here, but I had to make, I made this for something anyway. Wine wrenches, you know. So nothing crazy, it, it, it's enough to get me by and it's been working for the last three or four years. So, I don't know, don't really need to get any more for now. But anyway, this is this is my socket drawer. Um, I got uh, standard here and metric over here. And then this is a specialty case from Blue Point. It's got like a, it's, really, it's got like a, it's actually really nice. I'll uh, open it up here quick. It's got like, it's got a lot of stuff in this kit. Canadian, I bought it, I think it was after tax, it was just under 700 bucks. But like, this, this is a wicked kit, it's really nice. It has a ton of shit in here. If you, you know, all your specialty stuff and whatever. Um, so this is my, <clears throat> it's actually not in here, unfortunately. It's out getting some warranty work done on it, but this is my half inch electric uh, torque wrench. And like I said, it's not in here. It's kind of sad, but if this is the 100th anniversary, 100th anniversary one, um, very expensive, but it's very, very nice. It does, does everything. It's great. Um, my dial indicator, yes, I know it's kind of beat up. Um, the case for it broke and I never replaced it because whatever I'll just leave in here. It's just, anyway. Um, but also just a bunch of other, oh, this actually, for any, um, any 310T apprentices or licensed guys, if you, if you're looking, this is Tiger Tool, this is to remove tie rod ends, the part number is 10301, this thing is fantastic, you just thread it onto the top and you hit it and it just, it almost every time knocks the tie rod right out and you don't have to worry about ruining the threads or anything, it's fantastic, I would highly recommend buying one. Um, what else? What else? There's uh, this little guy here. I bought this for like 40 bucks. It's just like a little, uh, like a little torque wrench adapter. It's like electric. I think it goes up to 150 foot pounds. It's kind of nice. It does like, it does, uh, sorry, it does foot pounds and inch pounds. It's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Uh, I don't know, it's miscellaneous shit. 100 foot tape measure, other tape measure. This is to, well, <laughs> the magnet works on that. Uh, this is good for, uh, I check brake stroke with this. It's only, I just cut it off there at the one foot mark. But anyway, so yeah, that's my socket drawer. Kind of, you know, I would like to get more, but you know, shit's not cheap. So um, anyway, these will go here. I got uh, <clears throat> just some hammers. This here is, uh, you put your punch in here, you can thread it. So that was, so you, you have something to hold on to so you don't, you know, this is actually really good for uh, pounding out races and, and wheel hubs and stuff. Um, I use this a lot, actually. It's fantastic. This is a Mako punch set. I know I'm missing a couple, but they're out getting warrantied right now. He didn't have any. This one's, you know, a couple of them are bent, but he's getting me a, a whole bunch more. But anyway, this is a this is a $500 kit. It's actually really nice. Oh um, yeah, just other extra hammers and shit. Uh, what's next here? <clears throat> okay, here's the, the pry bars here. I had, to, I had to custom make that to put, uh, had to do some Eaton brake springs once. And I had I had to make it to put it on here. This is uh, probably a bit of a controvers controversial tool. Everyone's got different ways of doing it. That's just for regular brake springs. I had to make that. This is a little pr Princess Auto Torque wrench. Uh, I know I'll probably get some heat for this, but these snap-on ratchets, I had Mastercraft ones when I first started. They were great, don't get me wrong. I, I highly recommend anyone starting out, get Mastercraft or whatever you can afford. But now that I you know, started making some decent money and these, these ratchets here are like, never would buy anything else. And another big controversial thing is these soft handles. I would never ever buy a full steel handle ratchet. I don't know why, I just, I prefer the ones with the soft grips. 
Uh, and then just got three inch extensions, then brake tools for backing off a, a certain style of slack adjuster. Uh, they're pretty used. They're actually really used. You can see <laughs> where I put it in there to or put the pawl in there. But anyway, that's that. Um, what's next? Uh, I got the plier drawer. It's a little. It's a little bit in shambles right now because I, I ordered another one of these trays. It's not in yet, but vice grips. I'm missing a couple. I gotta go get them still. Um, these are some special um, snap ring pliers for doing uh, like suitcase kits and transmissions. They're very helpful. You see, it's got a little indent there. And either end of the of the clip goes in there, you open it up, and it goes in. Fantastic. Then, yeah, just pliers, vice grips, whatever. Nothing crazy in this drawer. Um, what's next? This is, uh, this is the electric, my electrical drawer slash electric tools. Um, a couple Milwaukee batteries, trailer cord tester, back probe kit. Um, this is a, uh, uh, a surge protector. So if you have to weld on a truck, you put this on the batteries. So it doesn't blow anything up or grenade anything, then that would not be fun to repair. And this is just, you know, wire strippers, crimpers, and just extra shit that I've collected over the last few, three, four years. Multimeter, test leads, the torch, and then just my electric tools, batteries. Yeah, so that's that drawer. <clears throat> this one here is the air tool drawer. And, uh, Actually, if you guys look back in our videos, when I first got this brand new, that's what it looks like now. It's actually very well used. Works fantastic still, but yeah, anyway, die grinders, um, air hammer attachments. These are like the like keys to replace like bits on, on the little die grinders. And uh, I know I see that I have a lot of die grinders, but trust me, when you're like going, going, going all day and you, you don't have time to, oh, now I gotta take this out of here and put it in. I'm telling you, having a bunch of these, you just grab it and go, it's fantastic. Um, yeah. Or brush, just kind of miscellaneous shit here. <clears throat> this drawer here is a little messy right now just because I haven't fully unpacked right, right yet, but it's where I keep all my cases, like my case tools, um, like my charger for my snap-on batteries, and fuel line disconnect, bearing packer just sits in there. Um, yeah, that's really not much more to explain on this drawer. Come over here, <clears throat> oil filter wrenches, fantastic set, I highly recommend buying it. Obviously, old versus new snap on uh, um, screwdriver. Sorry, and just a couple of you know, Mastercraft stuff. This is just like in the morning when I get to work, I'll throw my well, my keys are here now, but I'll throw my keys and stuff in here. And I'll just you know, you always got to keep this in your in your toolbox. Not a sponsor video, but if you want to sponsor us, I could use it because my hands get really dry in the winter. Um, anyway, miscellaneous bolts and shit. Um, so here, keep my picks. Um, three quarter ratchet, some bigger wrenches I don't normally use, monkey wrench, big channel locks, fuel line pliers. Um, yeah, this, this comes apart, you can see there's not much left in there, but I keep my pens and shit in here. Um, <clears throat> nothing crazy about this drawer. And this one here is just like, uh, let me take some of this out here so you can see. Just like, you know, everyone's got, uh, not junk drawer, but like, you know, one of these drawers that you keep all your random shit and yes i have tons of clamps these are all old ones but they were still good so i figured there's no point in throwing them out in case i need one um yeah clamps and everything anyway that's this oh i guess i have some i got a bunch of magnet trays over here um i got those on a sweet deal they were i think they're i think i got all these for like under 200 bucks it's pretty cheap um my one of my snap-on lights so oh, i got this little guy here too coast pen light rechargeable um <clears throat> yeah there's not much in here it's all like a lot of it's not junk but you know i've got the caging bolts these are for air airbag studs um drive shaft straps just in case uh, i don't want to go through every single drawer but just like i said there's a lot of miscellaneous junk uh in here there's some more junk but i got one thing I, I highly recommend a lot of mechanics having if you don't already have one is an air pressure gauge just to check you know if you're getting proper air pressure to things i made this just because you know it was there and i and i needed it so there's that, uh, what else? I'll just go through here. This is all, all the shit's just, it's all junk in here. Keep a couple extra tools here. My race punches sit in here. Uh, nice little set. Uh, big punches, wheel seal remover. And then this drawer here, minus all of this stuff. <laughs> so I keep all my paperwork, like, you know, setting wheel ends and rebuilding fifth wheels and installing all that other fun stuff. So, so I keep all that. This is just from old shit that I've grabbed because you know, why not? Um, and then here is just, this is just a little, oh, now I'm making a mess of everything. 
Uh, <clears throat> this is just, I got this set for free, which is why it sits in here. I hardly ever use it, but I got it for free and you know, free is my price range. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Everything on top of here is kind of junk. It's just a calendar, but you know, just miscellaneous other garbage. So anyway, that's about it. I don't know. I do want to expect, oh, actually one thing I could show you another thing. I got this, this big, big Mac tools primer. This thing, you can move a lot of shit with this thing. And then just a little fifth wheel puller that I made myself because I needed one in our shop, didn't have it at the time, so I just made it. Um, and then, you know, everyone's got a spray bottle with uh, soapy water in it. Find air leaks and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I really don't know what else to, to show you. I think, oh, my welding helmet, that's about it. That normally sits, I normally have my tool box on the wall and it normally just sits back there like that. But. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I would, would like to get another toolbox right now. I don't think I'm going to buy one, but maybe at some point. And definitely want to get some more tools, but everything's so expensive. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, just, uh, you know, comment it down. Maybe we can make another video if you want to see more specialty tools that I've made or had to make. If you guys have any recommendations of tools I should buy, let me know. I'll put in the comments. And uh, yeah, really not much else to show. So uh, have a good day.